Hello Makeup Lovers, welcome back. Hola mi bellezas, bienvenidas a mi canal. I'm Carolyn. Welcome to my channel. In today's video we're going to do a... I thought about doing something a little bit different and more personal. I recently turned 42 and I thought, why not talk a little bit, address age, and discuss with this community, a uh, beautiful community of women and men that watch me and see what they think, what changes they have had and when they turn 40 and, and, and just share, just, just talk and ramble a little bit about age and things that change when you turn 40 plus. But before we start with this video, please don't forget to subscribe if you have not. Hit the little notification bell because that's how YouTube is working today. Um, for you to be able to watch my videos and don't miss out on any of my videos, you have to click that little bell so you get notified. And without further ado, let's get started. Well, I thought about making a simple look using the Le Beige, and this is a moisturizer with some block. It has a little bit of coverage, not much. It comes only in six shades, I think. This is the deepest color. It's a sheer healthy glow moisturizing tint and it has SPF 30. If, if you are somebody that likes full coverage, this is not for you because it basically only uh, protects you, gives you a little bit of protection and moisturizes your skin. I thought about just share what I would do in the morning, like on a regular makeup day. And this is one of those days where I would just apply a little bit of this moisturizer over my face and this is what happened ladies i was reading this article about how to keep yourself looking younger like how to stay younger something like that and i was thinking wow it is so difficult we have to do so many things in order for us to always look fresh and younger and men don't have to do much of this. They don't really have to worry about that. But nevertheless, I was just joking. Uh, nevertheless, there's little things that change as you turn 40. Like I went to the ophthalmologist to check my eyes and I can't read either too far or too close. And I still don't need glasses, but I use them just those $2.95 from Walgreens to read a little bit, small prints and things like that. And the doctor, who is also my girlfriend, she said to me, Caroline, I had to tell you this, break it out to you, but it's age. Nothing wrong with your eyes, sight, it's just, it's just age. And we laugh about it. As you see, there's not much coverage with this tinted moisturizer. I used for years and years the one from Laura Mercier in color 10. I still have some of it left. But as a matter of fact, I was going to get another one before I stumbled into this one. And then, coming back to the age topic, you will start thinking about things that you have to do to take care of yourself. Things that, like your eyebrows, they start falling off, at least with mine, and you have to let them grow because it's a sign of youth. Let your eyebrows grow. This is gonna be a long video, so please grab your coffee, tea, or a glass of wine. I'm drinking coffee, I love, love coffee. I personally don't have much of a problem with my age. I'm leaving it as it goes. I like to look fresh, that I really like to do. I really do. Um, I love makeup, as you girls know. I'm a makeup junkie. But I have noticed those small things that make you look younger too. Being careful with your makeup, less foundation, uh, lighter colors. Things like wear sunblock, apply cream to your neck, very important. And what gave me the idea for this video is that this morning I was talking to my best friend. We were discussing age. 
and how some actresses, they look just amazing. And you think, my God, how do they do it? Is it magic or what? But my best friend, she's a lot older than me, but she looks fantastic. Regia, divina. And I think that it has to do too with the attitude. Very personal, you have to be like some sort of happy person and not only show it on the outside, but also it comes from the inside, how you feel. Also apply eye cream, yeah. Very, very important in my book to wear eye cream. Probably because I'm so self-conscious about this area here. To me, it's super important to wear eye cream and being careful with concealer because if you wear like years ago, which I never did by the way, this really light concealer, oh my goodness, it can <laughs> make you look weird. But anyways, um, and I think a light illuminator really helps to make you look fresh. A peach lipstick or lip gloss, then mascara, very important, and blush. Do things make you look fresh? And I've been gathering tips for many, many years from other friends, things that they have shared with me. Caroline, you have to protect your neck. You have to wear sunblock, that's very, very important and the eye cream. I think that the eye cream really makes a difference on your daily routine. And drink water. Drink lots and lots of water. Uh, when you don't drink water, it's like when you don't eat healthy. It really shows on your skin. It comes through and that's not a good thing. This is thick highlighter and this one is from Guerlain, from the Terracotta line, just a little bit. Right on my, the bridge of my nose. And you see the glow on my skin? And a tiny bit. And I look radiant, I look, it gives you a sense of youth. Not every day I do a full glam. I don't really do that. As a matter of fact, every day, not at all. This is a great highlighter stick, very, easy to use. If you wear powder, I think that you have to apply it first and then the powder, but it's very, very nice. Now I will apply a powder, my Le Beige, and this is my Le Beige, number 60, and apply it with this beautiful uh, Beautyly Shikohoro collaboration from the Travel Set collaboration. See, this is the powder brush. Look how beautiful is this, it's great and apply it a little bit, not too much because this sheer tinted moisturizer is pretty good. I didn't apply anything at all underneath because this is everything, has everything. So it's a very easy step in the morning for your makeup routine because it has everything in it. Then I will apply, let me set this down, and apply it a little bit of this Tom Ford highlighter and this one is an incandescent illuminating powder and I will apply a little bit of the blush. It gives you this sense of wake up that if you don't feel well or your skin looks dull, the right blush will wake you up. Now I will use the same blush on my eyes. This is all about saving time. And it's a beautiful blush. Anyways, where I was, yes. I think I forgot to mention to apply cream on your feet and on your hands and do a lot of it. Because I will tell you, I noticed, and I don't know if it happens to any of you ladies, please leave me your comments and questions down below. I am dying to share this, but I noticed my feet has gotten so, so dry. 
I don't know why that never ever happened to me before. And I have to apply cream every single night after a shower. But yes, apply lots of cream on your hands because that's one of the first signs of age when you show your hands and they get all wrinkled. So I have, um, as part of my routine at night, uh, after I apply my serum or whatever goes on my face, I end up finish it uh, using it on my hands. That way my hands get moisturized. Another thing I heard is that at least where I come from, they say that you have to cut your hair when you turn 40. Usually I let my hair grow and I cut it and I like different layers because I get bored kind of quickly. But I don't think, I don't believe that because you are certain age, you have to cut your hair. To me, I think I believe that's a personal preference what you like not because you turn certain age you have to change because a lot of women they look fantastic beautiful with long hair like Ella McPherson for instance she's in her 50s and I can think of her with short hair that main of her is part of her her character um, let's say Halle Berry her short hair is beautiful on her that's what looks good on with her face though she now allows her hair to grow but still she looks beautiful with anything on her i think that um, it's just also how you feel inside you have to drink lots of water eat healthy uh, maintain a positive attitude be, be positive continue with my makeup while i talk because i've been rambling non-stop I'll apply a little bit of eyeliner with a cold pencil from Chanel, color black. And like I said, just be positive. I believe that maintaining a positive attitude about life helps a lot. Smudge it with your finger. I told you this makeup wasn't going to do, wasn't going to be anything complicated. But I will share one fact about me I love being 40 uh, 42 I love being who I am now I feel great and by the way I'm applying Charlotte Tilbury um, mascara yeah. we finished with the mascara now I'm going to use uh, for my lips the lip cheat from Charlotte Tilbury Bond Girl and the Coco Rouge Gloss 119. And it's funny because I'm reading the letters and they are so small. It's like, oops, I'm gonna share this with you ladies. And this is my salvation. Look at this. Isn't that cute? You get this little lentils. I don't know how you call them really, but I got them in Amazon for nothing, super cheap. And you put it on the bridge of your nose and you can read the menu yes you can read the menu all those small prints letters that are simply too small for you to read i love them i'll see if i can find it in amazon because you gotta have one of those and they fit perfectly um, in your clutch your night bag or makeup bag they are great Now the lip gloss. I love Chanel lip glosses. They really, really last. The longevity of the application. I think I'll apply a little bit more blush. I feel like I need a little bit more. You also have your skin on the other hand that if you don't moisturize it, even though you are very oily and combo in the winter, your skin gets very dry. God forbid 
Oh my god, your skin gets like alligator skin. So, so dry. And we are looking like dehydrated. It looks dehydrated for, for sure. So you have to moisturize. And of course, you can be outside without wearing sunblock. Because if you do, you get the sunspots right here. And it's a fact that's gonna make you look older because you're gonna have all these blemishes all over your face. Horrible. A month ago, I was using retinoid and it's really good for your skin. You just have to be careful how you use it. I stop <laughs> because during the summer month, I am outside, I go to the beach, everybody takes vacation and I thought, I don't wanna have to worry about my face and retinoid. It can really go the other way if you don't protect your skin from the sun and I didn't want that. But um, I'm gonna go back to it, go back to my regular routine um, I'm new to this and I remember the first few weeks my skin was peeling off. My skin was so dry. I'm like, oh please, I call my doctor's office. When is this going to stop? And they said to go easy. And start applying it twice a week, then three times a week. And over time, then you increase application until your skin gets used to it. But I will come back and We'll see how we do with it. We are done. We finally completed this look. Very easy, very simple. It would usually take me like 10 minutes to do that, but I was just chatting away with you, makeup lovers. And it's very interesting, all the little changes that happen as you will start aging and the things that you start seeing and noticing and what used to bother you years ago, little things they just don't bother you anymore they're meaningless they mean nothing i guess that you get wiser you start appreciating things a little bit more and you learn more because life is only once and you only live once and you care about those people who are around you that love you and you love them and you care deeply for them but you also think on yourself uh, it's more than just get up, taking care of your family and do chores around the house or outside the house or go to work. It's a little bit more. It means more. You become stronger and yeah, a lot wiser. And with this, my beautiful makeup lovers, mi bellezas, hemos terminado. We completed this video i hope you enjoy it and you didn't get bored with this little chatty about me turning 42 getting older <laughs> and enjoy it please if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe see you on my next one thanks for watching